Hi, this is Ben with MakeUsef.com. Have you ever realized how many different USB cables there are? It's kind of ironic considering the U in USB stands for universal. Today, we're going to take a look at the different kinds of USB cables that you'll probably encounter, see what they're used for and what their differences are. So let's get started. Our first USB cable is the USB-A cable. And this is a typical USB cable that you're going to see all over the place. It's the standard cable that you'll plug into a computer. Uh, your TV probably has one. Game systems have multiple USB ports. And it's the standard end that you'll see on pretty much everything. And we have an example of that here. Power brick that you'd get with any smartphone. Typically has a USB-A end and the other end goes into your phone, which we'll talk about in a minute. The second kind of USB cable is actually not very common anymore. It's the USB-B cable that you can see here. Now this cable used to be more popular with large devices like printers, but it's, it's since fallen out of favor because there are smaller connectors that do the job better. That's what we're going to look at next. Our next type of USB cable is the mini USB cable. Now this is technically a smaller version of USB-B that we just looked at. However, it's not really usually called USB-B, it's just called USB-mini, mini-USB. This one is more common on Sony devices. You'll see it often, like the old Walkman line. Another example is the PlayStation 3 controller. It uses a mini-USB input. It used to be more popular, but it's since kind of faded out a bit. You'll still find some devices that use it, though. And the reason that mini-USB has faded out is because a new version has taken its place, Micro USB. It's a little small, but you can see it here. This is the standard on most Android phones and all sorts of other devices like Bluetooth headphones, um, external battery packs, things like that. You'll find micro USB. Now, this is very common on Android phones, as we mentioned. You'll also find it on the Sony PlayStation 4 controller, recharges with a micro USB. Microsoft's Xbox controller, Xbox One, will also charge if you have the external battery pack for it. Now, while micro USB was popular for quite a while. There's a new version that's kind of taken over Android phones. You'll still see micro USB, but phones from the last couple of years have a different connection, and that is USB type C. Now USB USB C, you might notice, is reversible, meaning you can plug it in either way, and it'll be just fine compared to USB A, like we looked at earlier, where it only goes in one way. Now you'll also notice here that I have a USB C cable that is USB-C on both ends, which I actually don't, but if I did, um, you would know that it was on USB-C on both ends, and the reason for that is that USB-C is used for more than just connecting a phone to a computer. Um, you might have seen the new MacBooks that have all USB-C ports. You can use that to, for example, connect a display, um, connect an external hard drive, all things like that, connect a power uh, cable to charge it. So you'll see these cables that would have USB-A on one end and C on the other, but you'll also see C to C. I should mention that you won't see USB-A to A cables, and the reason for that is that there's really no good use for them. Uh, in fact, if you plugged a USB cable into two computers, uh, it would probably cause an issue because the computers wouldn't know which device was the host and which one was the receiver. So that's an important point to note. So we've talked about the different types of USB cables. We've looked at A and B. We've looked at the smaller types. Uh, but there's also another important thing to know about USB cables, and that is the standard that they use. So USB has gone through three major standards. USB 1.0 was the first. This is really old school. You're very unlikely to find any devices that use USB 1.0 nowadays. It would be very slow. USB 2.0 is the older standard that's still used and you can recognize that by just the standard USB-A plug like we have on this micro USB cable here. USB 2.0, you'll still find it in some cheaper flash drives and similar devices. Um, things that don't need to charge very quickly or throughput data quickly still use USB 2.0. But for flash drives and external hard drives and other devices where you want to transfer a lot of data quickly, USB 3.0 is the, is the new standard. And you can tell a USB 3.0 cable, usually because right here, as you see on the A end, it has the blue color. And you'll also sometimes see a little lightning bolt symbol. If you have a USB 3.0 port on your laptop, for example, it'll be blue, and it usually has a little lightning bolt symbol, so you know it's 3.0 compatible. Now, again, USB 3.0, the biggest difference is the speed. If you connect a USB 2.0 flash drive and try to transfer a bunch of files, you'll notice that it's much slower than connecting a USB 3.0 flash drive and transferring the same files. 
Now, certain cables have slight modifications to be USB 3.0 compatible. So for example, this is a cable that I have for an external hard drive. You'll see that it's USB 3.0 on the A end because it's blue, but it's also micro USB on this end. However, because it's USB 3.0, there's an extra little piece that has to be on there to make it USB 3.0 compatible and be fast enough for an external hard drive. So we've taken a look at all the different types of USB cables. We didn't talk about Apple cables here because that's a topic for another video, but we hope that this enlightened you and helped you figure out the differences between the various USB cables. In general, if you have a new Android phone, you're probably going to use USB-C and probably have some micro USB cables around for older devices. Mini USB is not very common anymore, and we'll see USB-A ports on computers for some time to come until USB-C eventually phases them out. That's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to Make Use Of's YouTube channel for more videos like this, along with giveaways of the latest and coolest tech, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care!